and we are live. Thank you everyone who's coming to join us today for this CPDH live stream. We will be starting shortly. Thanks for coming and joining us.
And here we go in for the intro. And we are live. Hello and welcome. Connoisseurs of fine common cardboard. Glad to have you today on this CPDH stream with my friends Nate, Andre, and Puzzle Box. We're gonna get some great games in today. And we have all the colors represented, but not just through one player. We have three three plus color decks and one five color deck. It is going to be a hell of a time today. So yeah, thanks for joining. And um, we're about to get this show on the road. And uh, yeah, let's do a quick breakdown of what we have in play. We have Puzzle in position one on his mid-range combo build of Sidraxis Spectre. We have Noyark on his build of Composite Golem. No, and this is Jonathan's. Uh, Jonathan's, okay, so Jonathan's build edited, Composite yeah. Golem, that slightly tuned version of Composite Golem. We've got a ritual in the command zone. Position three, we have myself on Quaza Augur of Agonies. I am playing combo, psych. And we've got Nate on his version of mid-range combo, Lagrella the Magpie. Uh, also, Peregrine Drake, Ghostly Flicker, um, some combos with Icewind Stalwart. Uh, it's a great deck. So. Uh, we are ready to go. For those of you who have joined today, thanks for coming. If you want to just leave a like and subscribe to the content if you haven't already, that would be great. And I think we're ready to go. We've got our hands, we've mulliganed. Um, I, think we're, I think we're ready to do it. You want to send us off there, Puzzle? Will do. Go ahead and draw and play an Is It Guild Gate and pass. I have a Goldmire bit bridge, and I will pass. All right. I'm going to draw a card for turn. I'm going to play this Dismal Backwater. Pass the turn. Three plus colors, baby. Oh, draw. yeah. <laughs> you know how it is. Let's play this Idyllic Beachfront, and I will pass. All righty. Go ahead and play this swamp into a is it signet? And then I will pass. I'm going to go forest into a cynic signet and I will pass. <laughs> I've got a lot of those. I will draw going to play a crystal grotto going to scry one um i don't think i'm ready for that we'll bottom that pay two arcane signet pass the turn uh we'll go to turn let's play another tap land and not play a mana rock uh, instead, we'll play a Souls Attendant and pass. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get a, a mountain into play. And let's go. Hmm. Let's go ahead and go. One, two, three. Cast the Spectre. And I will pass. Looks like that mana rock is a little off the screen there, Puzzle. Oh, I will. There we go. Oh, man. It's a classic. It's a classic. Sisse's ring. <laughs> oh, man. Big Oh, God. C -c 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 combo 
All right. That's it's beastly. You got uh, Simeon Spirit Guide into another one? No, I'm done. Well, come on, dude. You don't want to play another rock? <laughs> Simeon Spirit Guide, bad. Uh huh. Well, Ooh, I'm gonna big. I'm gonna try and uh, match that. Can I? Uh, planes. Two, three, four. Um. Be cooler if so. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, I think that's better. So we'll go. Pay three for. Uh, vessel of endless or decanter of endless water. Pay two for prismatic lens. And I will pass. This is starting to look like some CDH starts. And yeah. Did I pass? Yep, pass into you. Go to turn. Huh. Um let's ponder. The top three. One, yep, yep. two, three. Do I like any of these? Yeah, they seem fine. Um, all right, so I will put one in hand. Uh, and then, well, I mean, I'll put them on order, then I'll draw one. Uh, and then you, you, okay. And then, let's play out this glacial flood plane. Puzzle, I don't have a lot of cards and I don't want to discard anything. Am I the target? Um, I have not thought that far ahead. I will be honest. Alright, I'm gonna cast Witness Protection targeting Sidrax's Specter. Sure thing. Um, and then we can go to combat. I will swing one at Ryan. Yep, pick one. I will pass the turn. Ready, go to my turn. Hmm. I will play a Seagate. ETB, I will name Black. Ah, you can see Puzzle Box gearing up for uh, Basilisk Gate. Which is a great card in that deck. Hmm. Yeah. And then I'll go ahead and cast a Nightscape Familiar. Ah. Noyark, that's making me wonder whether we should have gates in this deck. Just just like a How another... how deep do you need to go? I mean you really don't. <laughs> you, you don't need to go that deep to make it good, right? Um, I'll go to combat. Ryan. Uh, 1-1. One, one. Yeah. That is still commander damage. Correct. I am that much closer to death. Yep, and then I will pass. Relevant for when I pump him to a 5-5 five, five power. That's right. That makes your, um, what is it, the, uh, Clout of the Dominus. Clout of the Dominus. A yep. free shot. Yep. Um, I think we want to go, this will be the land, one, two, three, four, five, Avenging Hunter. Hmm. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Not fair. Go grab one of these boys. And then gonna do an E Wilds. Let's go grab. One of these days I'm gonna put crab in a deck 
and I'm gonna stifle an E wild. Oh, that'll be a good day. <laughs> Land destruction stifle. That, and then I'm going to do a Knight's Whisper. Yeah. That card. And then I will pass the turn. All right. I am going to draw for turn. Um, okay. I'm going to go see that. The thing I could do. One, two, three. And that's not enough. So, yeah, we'll just go one, two. Yeah. Dismal backwater for Kingpin's pet. You yeah, first. Move, move these things around. I'll gain um, a life. Yep, you'll gain a life. Uh, I will so play a Goldmire Bridge, which is an artifact. And I will pay uh, one to cast uh, Thought Cast. And I will pay the extort. Trigger. Yep. I'll gain one, two, three. All right, and I will draw two. And then I will pass the turn. I will go to turn. Let's play this land. Uh, and then I will do one blue, white. I will pass a Lagrella. So hey, so she good resolved. with me. Yep. All yep. right. So targets are going to be. Uh, we'll do the Nightscape. Yeah, we'll do the Avenging Hunter, and then we'll also do the Kingpin's Pet. And then I will gain a life from Lagrella as well. Put him over here. All right, and then uh, I will move to combat, and then I will swing one at you, know York. Take one. All right, and then I will gain the initiative. And I will go search. Let's find an island. Mm -hmm. Put it in hand. And then I think I'm all done and I'll pass. Cool. And to everyone who's joining us for this live stream today, thanks for coming and hanging out. Glad, glad to have you here. And um, yeah, if you've got a moment, leave a like to support the content. If you want to see more of it, Click the little bell icon and subscribe to see more of when we go live. Thanks for being here. I will go straight to combat. Nate, you have a 1-1 one -one coming at you. Uh, yeah, I'll kill it. Solo uno. Alrighty. So Drax's Specter will go to my graveyard. Ooh. Crazy, I know. Uh, main phase two. Let's go ahead and play a uh, great furnace. And let's go one, two, three, four, five. Cast a mold drifter. Hey, drifty boy, what's up? And uh, looks like life. puzzle. Your stuff is still kind of far over on the right there. If you could shift it over. Uh, this is the guy that's exiled under Lagrella. Oh, so I figured I'd put him over there. Understood. Yep. The other way you could do it is just turn them over. Is just do F that to turn works over. Too. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I did. That's what this guy is right here. Yep. All right. Uh, is Mold Drifter good? Yep. Mold Drifter resolves. Yeah. All right. I will draw two. You are good to go. You are clear for takeoff. 
And then I will pass the turn. Man, if you had that Night Veil, uh, the uh, Nightscape familiar, you could be holding up Planner Incision. Yep. It's a pretty good card at Grixis. Yeah. I'm going to siphon mine. Hmm. Spicy. Um... Yeah, response to the cast. Yeah, good with me. Um, That's fine. Did you say you do have one? I do not. Okay. Okay. Um, I have my card. I'm still thinking. All right, I have mine. Okay. This Obs is mine. Obscura storefront. Braga uh, five for me. Hate the spellbomb. Got Noyark up here on the big, big mana, big draw. Big draw. Yep. I like, I like mo cards. Mo cards. Give mo me mana. Mo cards. Mm hmm. Mo of them. Um, let's go. Arcane Signet. And we'll go. Ooh, no. Oh, uh, just That's as a heads bad. up for the future, it's never true. ever set your cards to the this, 40k, the 40k version of it, because I cannot read them with the uh, card reader. Yeah, the, it's just annoying because that's the default set for him. Mm. Just the most recent set that they're released in. Actually, do you guys mind if I do that sequence slightly differently? Yeah, go ahead. Do what you need to do. Okay. Yeah, no other actions I've been taking, I don't care. <laughs> One, two. Oro Signet. And then one, two. Arcane Signet. And with that, I will pass. Okay. I will draw for turn. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go. Would like to get that into play. Uh, also, kind of nice to have Quaza start doing Quaza oh, yeah. things. You, you don't have initiative, right? No, um, Nate has it. You want to move your initiative oh. token? I'm gonna play Quaza. Thank you. That's Quaza. Yeah. And actually, I think First. we can tap a little bit differently for this. White, blue. Yeah, so we can. Um, I'll gain a life. Oh, I guess it's the same for Crystal Grotto. Yeah. OK. Um, and then I will pass the turn. And go ahead. Uh, after <laughs> end step, I will cast Brainstorm. We have uh, one for all MTG saying make Vandal Blast common. Meltdown common. <laughs> Draw three. <laughs> One, two, three. There is some yeah, relevance yeah. to that, actually. Like, Aether and Sphinx is a deck that has no actual answer to it right now, and uh, other than, like, ganging up on them. And so something abusive. Jonathan like has that. an answer. Mm, does he? Uh, Eidolon of Rhetoric. No, that's, not, that's not an answer. <laughs> All right. I will untap. I stop Cascade. We'll add a counter. Um... Hmm. Y'all can see a uh, Snorlax in the background over here. Let's see. Let's go. Yeah. Let's try two, I think. Check it out. So the cards are basically just put on top. Snor Snorlax is getting lit. <laughs> both to the bottom. All right. Then I will drop the turn. Hmm. One for all MTG, you know, that's interesting. Some sort of mass artifact destruction would also be potentially useful for a 60 card because there's basically no, like, 
there's no way to properly contain affinity in the format. So I think arguably, if you're going to have affinity, you also need to have a way to, to interact with those. Yeah. But I that think would... affinity's easy enough with sideboard, you know? Favor and Marauder is a hell of a drug. Yeah, it's just obnoxious because you have to sideboard against it. Nate's got Avenging Hunter. I have no response. Yep, I got nothing. Yep, you can avenge right. away. I'll gain a life. Um, token or goad? Doesn't really matter if I go puzzle. I think I'd rather get hit by a mole drifter than a Sedraxus specter. So. <laughs> yeah, it's your choice. Yeah. Which so one comes at you? <laughs> I will. I will create a token. Or sorry, a treasure. Uh. I guess I need to search for that in a second. Um, and then going to combat. Let's swing. I'll swing one at you, Noyark. Take my one. All right, second main, I got nothing. And I will pass. That's not what combo players do. We cry about every one damage that is swung yes, at us. You must. Um, it's obligatory. I, do, I don't need to do that. I've got I've got life gain in the stack. <laughs> it's obligatory. I will go ahead and do, do, do. I can whine about it if you'd like. Yeah, Come on, I would Nate. like that. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. Fine. I'm just a five color combo deck. <laughs> My mana's worry, not even me. that good. <laughs> I'd like to unearth uh, the Draxus Spectre. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll gain a lot. <sighs> I would like to go to combat. Yeah. Yeah. Noyark Spectre. Uh, Nate. Mole Drifter. I declare no blocks. I also declare no blockies. Alright, I have no effects before damage. I do. I would like to... Oh, wait, that doesn't work the way I want it to. I did bad taps. Shit. Um... What do you need double pips black? No, I was supposed to leave this one untapped, not this one. Um, what do you need double black for? I don't. I only need a single black. Um, Arcane Signet makes a single black. I also needed a different color for what I wanted to do. Uh, this is fine. I'm just going to take uh, three. This is fine. <laughs> I'll pick two Alrighty. initiative. Then discard trigger, and I'll have initiative. I'm somewhat eager to go and get my land drop off of the initiative, to be quite honest. That's assuming you get it. Yeah, maybe I won't. It's possible. Oh, man. So, I will go ahead and go tutor my basic. Um, what do I need? I think I probably um... end up I probably actually do get it, because I don't think Puzzle would want to hold it if he was going to get hit by the 5-4. Um, did you discard a card, Eric? Uh, I do need to do that. Let's discard... This card. That was fine. Alright, main phase two. Let's play... An island! Whoa! Uh, the game. And then let's go ahead and cast a ghostly flicker. Village right, sacrificing oh. the specter. Oh, that's fantastic value. Yep. Response. Get this for my command tax. <laughs> Is that good? Yep. Yep. Good with me. Do a quick and check I with the chat ahead. here. Let me know if there's any audio distortions or anything coming through strange. If you can just give me a thumbs up and you're in chat, let me know it's all coming through well. That would be great. Thank you. Glad to have you here. And then I will pass the turn. 
At the end of your turn, I would like to go for the throat, targeting, targeting Lagrella. Mm. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's nasty. Oh, that's gross. Oh. oh. No response, Ryan? Oh, no. Absolutely not. All right. I don't have a response puzzle. Let me think here. How bad is this? That's double initiative. Um, uh, that's kind of gross. I think I have to pass on it, though. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to interact with this. I mean, okay. like, is it it's double Hoop? initiative, but, but, but like we're you know we we're just talking yeah. about this, right? Like we're this, at the point in the game. No. It's no. like very high value, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, at some point, high value is worth countering. But oh, yeah, yeah, it can be. Fine. It can be. And I get my boy back. <laughs> I, would, I would like two plus one plus one counters on this, I think. Yeah, I figured. Mm -hmm. Actually, gain I think three life. Yeah, I, I should scry two. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to scry you two. You are a combo deck. <laughs> I assume. Um, I think we're going to go bottom, bottom. Let's make sure we remove our tokens. It's going to happen oh. a lot this game. Thank you. Yep. Mucho All right. Cristiano. I will... And Man. I think I would like to go to the Mole Drifter. Well, um, I think your OBS might be frozen again, no, Eric. You know, it's the, this. Um, the webcam oh, is really janky. It's so, just the webcam. It yeah, looks like you're. You're doing a sweet pose. It makes you feel any better. I am. Uh, so I got a USB splitter to have this stop happening with the webcam, and as it turns out, it wasn't the fact that I had to have it go from a USB to a micro USB to work with my laptop. It's the apparently it's the USB cord on this shitty webcam, which sucks. Yeah. I thought this would fix it, uh, and it did not. So, um, but yeah, Ryan, your kingpin is in play. Oh, this is correct. Yep, that was returned to me. Uh, cool. And I am going to go to the Mole Drifter. Okay. Sure thing. It so is we are goaded. goading, goading off of the initiative. For those of you unfamiliar with the mechanic, the third stage does allow you to force a creature to attack somebody other than you. Because the initiative Invable. is a planeswalker <laughs> at common. If just and it's funny, it's so many comparisons that actually really checks out. Like a planeswalker is something you need to defend, just like the monarch or the initiative, and so. It doesn't give you extra life points like a planeswalker does, but it's it's equally high value. It's dynamic. It has many different stages. There's an ultimate. I'm gonna cast Secrets of the Golden City. Oh god, it's so good. And and it's less interactable than a planeswalker. Yeah. Oh boy. Yep. No, it's actually true. Yeah, it's safer. Secrets yeah. good. Yep. Secrets Probably good. Three cards. Three for three. I only play Treasure Cruise. <laughs> um, land for the turn will be this Razor Tide Bridge. Then we're gonna go two, three, four. Yep, I can do that and have the mana that I want. Hey, Puzzle, would you mind taking the uh, the post that I just put out and uh, retweeting it? I'm going to play sure a thing. Nimble Claw Adept. Mm, yes. And with that, I will pass the turn. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Uh, I think I am interested in just casting uh, Soul Read. At end step. Um, or was this not that? in the database yet? It's not. It might not be. 
Let's it see. is a jumpstart card, and it has counter a spell oh, unless somebody go. pays for it, or draw two cards. Yep. So going to draw two? Wait, wait, wait. So you tap four mana last turn. That was to play Quasar. Oh, this is a four mana spell. It oh, is four. Mana. Whoa, sorry, sorry. It looks like two when it goes small. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, that's fine. Yeah. So we'll we'll go to my. Uh, <laughs> damn, I thought I was holding up. All right. Cool. Anyways, there we are. I thought uh, I had a counter spell. We're gonna draw. <laughs> we're gonna draw for turn. I will trigger. Um, I'm going to drain. Uh, targeting. Um, targeting. Uh, yeah, we'll just do one on you, puzzle. Sure thing. Uh, and then we're gonna go. One, two. I mean, no, it hit Noyar. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we're gonna play. Um, let's see. Would like to. Oh, he's got the initiative too. I do yeah. have the initiative. Target acquired. Oh, but I can go and. Oh, here. I, I literally, like, I could have done something about it. I am letting you take the initiative with Kingpin's oh, yeah. pet. Yeah, no, that, that's it. great. I'm going to go get yeah. it with the King's Pins pet, and then, um... Uh, am I likely blocking much? Because I could just go and poke in it. Poke in it puzzle, too. Um, I yeah. have a regenerator. <laughs> uh, you do. I'll just chill. So it'll be a Kingpin's pet at you, uh, Noyark. You, Andre? Yep. I took yeah. my two. Great. Okay, um, and then I will gain the initiative, uh, which I need to actually find. And it's the Undercity, right? That's the way we find this. Yeah, the initiative. There we go. All right, so this is going to play it in your deck. No, I actually don't. I know. We'll see. Who are I, you? I had to dispel the. That's that's my yeah. deck. Who, by the way? Who, well, I, <laughs> I mean, don't play it I in mean, my deck. I mean, you're saying your deck. I, I also I also have been building Quasa since it was spoiled, so. That's true. I am very it's familiar. It's not in my deck because I can't defend it consistently. Very familiar with Quasa. Um, uh, yeah, no, no initiative here, purely because I had to uh, prove that I do not play it in every deck to the haters <laughs> out there. The haters out there that. Uh, that well, this doesn't... isn't your deck, so. You that's right. Nothing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're going to okay, play. This is true. Ryan and I had a 30 minute conversation about cards in this deck after I sent in my list. So, yes. there is some ingenuity. Yep, we're gonna play You're Basilica Guards. Oh and I'm god, pair X sort. To X sort. Yep, yep. And then I'm going I'm to. Uh, uh, yep. And then I'm going to pay one, two, three for uh, Secrets of the Golden City. I have ascended, and I will pay one <laughs> to extort again. One, yep. two, three. Drain everybody for one. Does this resolve? Yep. Yep. Uh, let me catch up for folks here on the card reader. Um, there we go. All right. I will draw three cards. One, two, three. And I will have three triggers. And I will point them all at you, Nate. Bing, bang, boom. Yep. Got to gotta keep that life total down just a little bit. It's uh, you know, a, little, a, little, a little out of control. Okay, um, and then I will pass the turn. I will go for the turn. Yeah. Let's play this Island. Um, I would like to go to combat. I will not block if you send that 1-1. One, one. Welcome to have it. Are you going to block a 5-4? I would block or kill a 5-4, yeah. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Um, uh, all what right. I'm hearing is 5-4 kills or I guess, Quasa. I guess. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. The thing does about that Quasa. deck is Quasa does not matter. It doesn't. It's, yeah, yeah, I know. Of, of all the <laughs> things like I the is pretty pretty good. Good. Kill it in combat like that, but oh, if you waste I a removal spell did not on it, gain it's my of... three four secrets. One, two, three. All right. I'm gonna swing one at Ryan, and then I will swing. Ah, uh, piss and shit. Cool. Uh, puzzle, you can have five. Ah, oh, that's so. It's so much. That card don't got vigilance. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will not block. Okay, Ryan. No blocks. Oh no, no, no blocks. It's all yours, my dude. Uh, 
Cool. Yeah. Uh, damage? Take my slide. All right. Uh, I'm required to get... Oh, Mr. very close to the throne. Ellie. Oh my gosh. Well, everyone's going to be fucking close. I'm just having to... Oh, I don't think I'm going to fight very hard for it. God damn it. Uh, token? There we go. I gotta say, it was really fun making the thumbnail for this video. It looks you know, I... so fun with like all of these, all of these five color commanders or uh, three color commanders. Huh. Um. I should have played Bear's Companion. Well, yeah, that's what we were we were also hoping for that too. Yeah. Uh. I have nothing in my fucking hand, so we're gonna do one, two, three, four. What are you? All right, we'll leave these colors open. Uh, I'm gonna cast Logrella. Oh. Oh, hello. Does right. Logrella resolve? He's good with me. <laughs> no, no response. Right. Uh, Lagrella can resolve, absolutely. All right, I will gain a life on the ETB. Uh, targets. I will choose my Avenging Hunter. Mm hmm And I will choose... Which of my life gain creatures would you like to take? Yeah, we're gonna hit Quay. Yeah, if you want to recast Quaza, that's fine with me. I'll hit Quaza. Okay. And... Uh, let's see. I think I'll just send that to the command zone. All right. Good. Then I don't have to make a token. Yeah. Uh, we'll save you the uh, save you the burden. I'm going to get smacked anyway with Mole Drifter and having Puzzle it is, cards. It is goaded. Yeah, I'm fine with you having it. It's, But I'm not fine with you drawing two cards, so you can yeah. have it back. And then... Uh, I'm gonna hit No York's Nimble Claw. All right, and then uh, you did. I'm not thinking hit if I'm Nightscape. responding to targets now. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I'm hitting Nightscape. Sorry if I, my brain didn't you are. relay that information. Well, that's unfortunate. You Excellent said you're responding. Choice. Yeah, I'm. That's fine with I me. I mean, I'd recommend not hitting it. It helps me hold up more interaction. But, you know. Interaction for who? For the combo decks. <laughs> We're all combo decks. I'm not yeah. comboing anytime soon. <laughs> Which means holding up interaction is probably good for us. Well, uh, it's your turn. You're untapping all your mana. You can now <laughs> hold up your interaction. I am not stopping you in any way. All right. That's and... not true. You just swung five damage at me. Well, <laughs> you were eyeballing me. Uh, I will pass. Uh, no, Eric, are you letting that the ETBs? Yeah. That's fine. Right. I, I pass priority on it. Alrighty. Cool. I want to take a moment to thank everyone who's joined us for the live stream today and for this evening of CPDH content. Really grateful to have you here. And uh, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like. If you want to hear more of this content, you want to see more of it, know when we go live, hit that bell icon so you get notifications every time we go live. Uh, the way that I've been producing a lot of content lately is impromptu and unscheduled. So if you want to hear uh, when or get notified when we are going live, that is the best way to do it. So take a moment, hit that like button, and thanks for being here. And you said pass? Yeah. All righty. I have the mm -hmm. most giant jug right now of emergency vitamin C drink. I have had a cold for several days now, and I think I'm on like my 15th packet of vitamin C. I will go one, two, three, four, five. Cast a Sidraxis Spectre. Hmm. I'll gain life. I will go to combat. Combat. And, Wombat. And yeah, 
my goaded mole drifter goes to Nate. Thank you. I'll take the initiative. I'll make a big Sidraxis specter. Are the counters on the Basilisk gate counting how many gates you have? Yeah. Uh, no, this is to this is C gate. This is to indicate uh, what oh. color it is. So okay. it's black for three and Woober oh, order. Gotcha. Um. Also, Basilisk gate is sorcery speed. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to. I was like, you don't have three gates. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> nope. Um, and then I will go to end step. I'll go ahead and discard a fiery cannonade. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything that I want to do on my turn. Let's, or on the end step there, let's go to turn. Um, I would like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swing five at puzzle. I will block. Okay, I am going to target Avenging Hunter with uh, Ashnod's Intervention. Ooh, what do you? Uh, I thought it was a supernatural stamina. It's it is not. not. It returns it to my hand, but it does it give it plus two plus zero. Oh. Significantly worse, unfortunately. Eh, it's not that bad. Oh, it's not bad. No, but it's just a shame that it doesn't do like the. The only thing it does differently is that it, it uh, will take care of exile as well. But other yeah. words, so like, it's like I thought about worse. That's why I had to stop and think, because I almost targeted Nimbleclaw Adept with it. Okay. Ryan, do you, ever, you probably don't no, have any I'm, responses. I, am, I don't. Yeah. No response for me. This evening, yep. I am you passing got it. priority on everything. All right, so it's just three Act tramples six. over. Yep, three tramples over, and it will return to your hand. And I and get to go. Spectre will go to the graveyard. Isn't that crazy? Oh, shit's about to go down right now. I'm going to choose Archives, and I'm going to draw a card. Let's go. Okay, I have a Colorless Floating. Three. I'm going to cast a King's Pin Pet of my own. Dear Lord. It's and then... Uh, Colorless floating. I see that we're tickling each other. The tickle fight. Being alive. Five. And do I want to extort? I do. Extort this Avenging Hunter. Yep. Avenging Hunter is on the stack. I will pass priority. I will pass priority. I'll pass. Uh, take one from extort. Yep. I will gain a life and lose life. Cool. I'm going to do Throne of the Dead three things. Yep. That is not a hit. What's the worst that could possibly happen? <laughs> that is not a hit. And you can always... Yeah. Um, another thing you can do is you can just do look at the top by right-clicking your... or going to the carrot and just say uh, view top X and then you just drag the creatures out. Okay, I am already doing this, so I'm yeah. just going to keep doing this. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. How many have I done? One. No hits yet? Two. Or is that a Four. That's a displace. That's a, no. Six. Yeah. Six. Do, do, no he's probably going to hit something here. Six. Seven. There's yep. a seat. That was a good one. Eight. That's also <laughs> a good one. one. Although I probably took the salvager. Eh. I'd take the wall here. Salvager swings. Sal yeah, salvager hits. It's a 5-5, five five, right? Yeah, or you could get a massive blocker that'll yeah. never get five run over. Pretty big. 
but yeah. I'm gonna I am gonna <laughs> do what Puzzle Box is saying. Big block. So these all go. He's already got a flyer and a five four trampler. I don't think he needs more attackers. Mm. They go on the on the top, and then I shuffle out a counter. <clears throat> uh, three seven. Yeah, I think a three seven blocker is pretty okay. <laughs> um. Then I get to get a thing back. What do I want to get back? Probably Secrets of the Golden City. Uh, yeah, seems like a pretty good hit. Nah, I'm gonna grab Go for the throat. Oh, fun. Yeah. And... That'll be the turn. Okay. I will you go to my turn. your initiative token back into play, Neuer. Whoa. Uh... Land one, two, three, four. Um, what do I want to do this turn? One, two, three, four. I'm going to cast Urgolem's Eye and I'm going to trigger Extort, uh, trigger it once, trigger it twice. It and so I will gain one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'll pay uh, one, two, three, four for ever flowing chalice. We pay four mana for our soul rings in this format, we're pro, and I'll drain again with the uh, with the uh, arcane it signet. Is that just once then? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go to combat and uh, let's see. Uh, you gonna block make if I come for that it. initiative? Make him use it. Make him block. Oh, I'm just wondering if that's like, are you gonna defend that initiative, Noyark? Um, you don't have to tell me if you don't want I to. I will not be answering this question at this time. He's at 18 if you want to keep him down in life so we can murder his face. It's a very good trade. You already have one extort. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll swing. I'll take two. Yep, cool. Add a counter. Um, I am going to put the counter on, um, two, two counters on the kingpin's pet. Does that resolve? With yeah. me. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. It's a four four. And then I will pass the turn. Alright, going to turn. <laughs> um I'm gonna play this Evolving Wilds. And I'm gonna Crack it for a blue right away. And then this play tap. Um, then I will go to combat. I'm gonna swing four at you, Ryan. Yeah. Four minutes. Daddy's ready. All right. Cool. So we'll go to damage. I will take the initiative. I will trigger throne of the dead three. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just reveal. Uh, I like to reveal rather than just pulling out the creature so you can play all the cards because yep. that's what yeah. states. So. One, two, three, Yeah, it does say reveal, but. Four, five, coin article. The thing is, it doesn't actually matter so much unless three, you just don't know what's in the deck. Three. I guess. Four. Oh man, Mole Drifter. Daddy that light. was a really fucking good hit. Alright. Yeah. Fantastic. Shuffle. Alright, um, so let's add some counters. 
go with hexproof because I always forget about this shit. Uh, okay. And then I will draw two. Any response to the draw trigger? Nope. 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 Okay. Very good. Uh, I forgot. This is long gone. And, uh, second main. Yeah, why not? One, two, three. I will cast a Spring Bloom Druid. And I will uh, gain life from the Mall Drifter if no one cares. And then from the Spring Bloom Druid. The Bloom Druid. Mm -hmm. And then I yep. will sacrifice a Forest. So we'll grab two lands. Let's grab uh, an island and let's grab a forest. They both enter tapped. Uh, close and shuffle. Okay, and then I think that will conclude my turn. Fantastic. Uber fantastic. Alrighty. Um, let's see here. Um, during your end step, I would like to Pyroblast Lagrella. Ooh, what are you looking for? What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. I guess you just want to block her? I'm confused. Um, I'm at the point where <laughs> I really need to keep my life total up, so, uh, yeah. Doesn't have enough life gain. Yep. I'm, I'm Grixis. I don't have life gain. Sitting at a table with all this extort. Kind of rough. Yeah. There's so much just passive damage that I'm taking. It's not good. Huh. <laughs> um... Yeah, my only concern is what... This is not a combo piece, right? Because there's one per turn. It can be if it, has, no, it, it's if it has space and it gets it's flicking. another soul ring. It's and another it's, four mana soul ring. It says on it um, that you can only do it once per turn. So Yeah, but if you have a haste and flicker, then it can be a combo piece. Um, but that's I feel a like it's a lot easier to just do flicker drake. Yeah, it is. That's fair. Uh, that's my only concern. Really, but it is not a combo piece. No, yeah, sure. it is a four mana soul ring. Yep, I'll grab it and die, and then I will gain hey, three life Timmy. off these coming back into play. Glad to have you here, bud. Thanks for joining. And then I will also trigger initiative again. Yep. One, two. All right, so I will go get a. And it enters with like counters on it, correct? Yeah, two counters. Yeah, uh, Timmy, we've got uh, some kind of wild dynamics. We've got a lot of like life gain stuff going on, life drain, life gain. So puzzles feel in the pinch. Uh, Noyark has been kind of repeatedly getting the initiative, and so is Nate. And then I've just been kind of like padding my life total. Yeah, definitely intense. All right, okay. good to go to my turn. I'm good. Kind of a crazy pod, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So, my other alter ulterior motive mm, ulterior. is that I would like to cast a Talarian Terror, which will cost four less, three because of graveyard, and one less because of nightscape. Hmm. Okay. So it will cost me three mana. He's a big boy. So we'll go one, two, three. Maybe you've got unexpected fangs in your deck. <laughs> Is that good to go? I, no like I said, uh, the F6 button has been engaged all game. Yeah, uh, I'm getting a life. But one you sure will. 
Um, and then I would like to cast this Aether Spellbomb. Mm -hmm. Do I arc? No response. Okay, I'm passing. Pass. Alrighty. And then I will go ahead and pass the turn. The real thing that's different here, uh, Timmy, is that I'm playing combo. That is the uh, <laughs> that is the abnormal thing going on in this game. I want a basic land cycle this Ash Barons. Sarah's in. Welcome. Glad to have you in the stream. I'm not sure if I've seen you here before, so thanks for showing up. We have a question saying, can we get a deck list for that composite golem? Uh, that would be Noyark's um, decision there. You're welcome to share it if he wants. I will. Uh, it is incomplete. Um, yeah, it's a first, first I, take, when, second take, right? When, well, when I was like uh, rushing to find th uh, find stuff for this deck, I um, I forgot to put in a very in a important piece that I will not disclose right now, but I'm uh, kind of <laughs> sad it's not in the deck. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will be playing... Oh, I need to tap mana to do this thing. Um, mm -hmm. I have a colorless floating. Um... And then we'll go blue... I would like to untap these two things. I have a blue and pool as well. We'll go here, here, and here. And I will cast a mental journey, mm. and I would like to extort that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll lose my one from extort. I don't have yep. a response. We got yep, no got over it. here showing us the meaning of big draw. I got I nothing them. for it. <laughs> All right, you got it. Um, let's. It's kind of interesting. Got? The uh, you know one of the first iterations of these big mana, big draw, big value decks was actually an extort deck, and that was Vizcopa Guildmage. And the reason it was big mana was that. Um, Viscopa is so threatening when it first, when it resolves, because a lot of times Viscopa has life gain that all it needs to do is sacrifice in play. So you can't counter the life gain in a lot of cases. So they'll have like, um, what's that Sunspring expedition where you can gain, like sack it to gain eight life. And so you resolve the Viscopa guild mage and then you activate it a couple of times and then, yeah, go ahead, just keep casting your spells. I I'm gonna everybody's F6. Um, it, so the uh, F six. Are you going to counter a dark steel? Uh, dark steel ingot? No, but okay, I good. have good more open mana. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the Viscopa deck was basically recognized that it needed to cast Did its commander one for expert lots and lots of times. Yep. Did you extort a second time this turn? Second time yeah. already. I, yep. This is my second extort. Okay. Yep. And with that, I think I'm probably done here. Uh, no, not not yet. Um, I'll do it. Uh, just I'm gonna swing two in the air at Ryan. Yeah. Yep, you got and it. And I'll pass. Cool. Um. Play an Opal Palace. Um, let's see if we're going to go. Um, one, two, three, uh, four, five, and then six, seven for Quaza. And let me see if I've got mana to um, extort this here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven mana. 
Um, I will uh, not extort this. Does that result? No response. Yep, good with me. I'll give you a life. One, That's priority. Two. Uh, this is the second time it's been cast, so it'll get two plus one plus one counters. Um, I'll tap this. Wait, hold yeah. on. How much did you cast for Quasa? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, oh, so I need to pay one more. Yeah, one more to get the extort. Um, well, seven should be enough. She only costs four. Well, if I want the Opal Palace. Oh, yeah. okay. Seven. Um, I wonder how useful that is, in all honesty. Like, there's some really big shit out there. So, yeah, we'll do it. We'll pay that. And it's then, a good block here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to pay one, two, three, four. And we've got one floating from this right here. So Hold on. Sorry, how, did you how many it? times did you cast Quasa from this? This is the zone? second time I've cast it from the command zone. So it should okay. be eight did mana. You or did you not extort it? I'm sorry. What's that? Did you extort it? No, I did not extort Quasa. Okay. Um, I am casting Mole Drifter. And I am going to extort it once. One, two, three. Okay. I will gain a life and lose life. Okay. Does this resolve? I don't have any response. Okay. To All right. I will uh, drain. Um, let's see. I'll point uh, the drain at you, Noyark. Um, and I'll draw two. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, Quasa is four, not five. So I was able to extort this twice. Um, Quasa is six mana right now, seven with the Opal Palace. So one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, no, but I need to pay the two more. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, would be the first cast, right? Yep, and that's then, Quasa with counters. Yep, and then one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, so I'm able to extort twice. One, two, Alrighty. three. Yep. There we go, thank you. For some reason, my I got a brain worm and thought it was five mana for Quasa at base, but no, four. Okay, cool. Um, and then I will uh, go to combat and I will swing the Kingpin's pet at you, Noyark. Mm. <clears throat> How many cards do you have? Let's say five for, five for Nate, five for Puzzle, and seven for Noyark. Plenty. He's over there yeah, just draw, draw like six cards. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the throat, the kingpin's pet, and extort it. Sure. Yep. Ugh. Right. You guys can stop extorting whenever you know. Uh, and then I will <laughs> uh, pass the turn. Play life gain, nerd. <laughs> no. Hey, good point. He does have a I point. Refuse. You could run Basilica Screecher. Gross. Uh, on on tap. <laughs> I will go one deeper. We're going to do loss while scrying two. So one, two. Is this relevant? Yeah, uh, this deck does absolutely need life not. gain for the current meta. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Even if it's just flickering um, Gary. Both yeah. the bottom, go to turn. Wait, who has the initiative? Your boy. Wait. No, Ark, you've got the did fucking you initiative. Meet? You've got the fucking oh. initiative token. Sorry, did you mean to swing somewhere else? Oh, Nate's did got a five five, so I wouldn't have been able to get it. Yeah, no, never mind. Never mind. I'm raging at I nothing. I mean, if you don't want to swing, old I will man. happily I mean, go for the throw of my hand. Yeah, I was not gonna swing if I wasn't trying to get the initiative. Do we want to roll that back? That's my bad for misrepresenting my board state. I don't care, Nate. Nate. It's kind. of... I'm not going to be a, a poo pooer, but we we already did a few things here. But I mean, I, if, I wouldn't be swinging if it weren't for that. 
so. Okay. Well, um, I'm not going to say anything about it. Go for the throat, re enters the hand. That's what I'm most sad about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Puzzle, you gain a life. Oh, yeah. No extort trigger. Let's go. <laughs> no extort trigger. <laughs> okay. Um, That's what I'm most worried about. <laughs> seven six is one thing. I can block a seven six. Six, what would I get rid of? It really help puzzle and get rid of all the kingpins. Yeah. That seems like a good line of play. <laughs> but that fucking nimble claw, I don't know why, I just... Worries me. Worries yeah, my it's, brain. It does the it same thing as an Urgol. I'm, 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 saying saying uh, I'm saying this as, as somebody who would rather that something else on his board died. Um, that that is not the problem. It makes a ton of mana, but you can't abuse it. Yeah, there, it's there's the no way ones to abuse it. Off, I, there's nothing for me to do about that. Yeah. Haste and flicker. Haste and flicker. I don't not, need not it. Like, the there are so many better things to do with a. Finger. I'm aware, but you could. I could. There's there nothing the, to do with there it. There is the actual incorrect. possibility of it, and there's the very real reality of it not being in the deck. Yeah, I'm very aware it's not yeah. going to happen. Cool. Good I'm talk. Passing. Good talk. <laughs> I'm passing. Uh huh. Passing. Wow! Look at all that mana. Okie doke. What are you a blue player or something, Nate? No. I will go to my turn. Just a splash of blue. I'm gonna hide all these islands when I say that. There. Yeah, get them <laughs> out of here. Filthy blue. Let's cast a siphon mind. Be cooler if you didn't. Uh, Whatever. I draw enough cards. I've got it. Yep. Island. I've got mine. So Echoing sorry. truth. I mean, sorry, the um, mental journey. Curfew. curfew? You mean that <laughs> curf curfew? Yeah. Curfew. Alrighty. Okay, you got there. Wow, those All are right. some really cool cards. Big hitters. Big hitters. You having uh, trouble hitting lands over there, my dude? Quite the opposite. Hmm. Um. I'll oh, go you missed ahead a and uh, play this Demir Guild Gate, and then I will pass the turn. Um, anything on end step here? Nah. Oh my gosh, guys! I just got a new cell phone. Just came in the mail. <laughs> nice. Three, four, five, six. I will leave a colorless floating. I'm going to cast a pondering mage and I will extort that. Ooh, extort that. Mm -hmm. I'll gain one and lose one. Assuming it enters, I don't have a response to it entering. It's fine with me. Chat. Cool. I just got my new Pixel 7. Do a ponder. Oh my gosh. Your new porn watcher? No, it's my Pokemon Go player. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, I'm going to leave those cards where they is. 
kind of funny. Like, uh, had numerous people who are like really uh, top tier competitive uh, Pokemon Go players that have told me that the moment that they were actually able to compete in the game was when they got a new phone, and it totally makes sense. So. I am going to cast a Basilica creature and extort it. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. Cool, so... So Puzzle is like... <laughs> so like... <laughs> I'm just dead, huh? Puzzle, you, oh, gotta, you gotta draw that Pestilence. Gain one, lose one. I don't play Pestilence. Wow. Imagine the Pestilence that. Pestilence kills Puzzle even faster. So. I know, I yeah. know. That's the funny part of it. Uh, I play Crypt Rats, but not Pestilence. Oh, okay. So you've got, like, a quote-unquote out... And yeah. I think with that, I'm going to be... Yeah, you could call it that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, with that, I'll just pass the turn. All right, cool. I will draw a card for turn. I will trigger it, and I will point that trigger at... Uh... Boy. Um, yeah, you know, Eric? Yeah, it would only cost me six of my eight life to kill everything that could kill me after activating it. Um, let's see. So we've <laughs> got a... Uh... We've got some stuff in play, don't we now? Um, I'd just love to draw a bunch of cards right now. That'd be really cool, guys. Um, no cards, no better. See, as you can see, I don't really have the black pips to support Pestilence. That's true. That's true. I wonder if it would just be better as suffocating fumes in your deck. Um, I've considered it. Okay, so uh, we have... Nate is on. Okay. Um, and what else do we have here? There's a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. Um, so I'm going to pay one, two, that's five. We'll do four for a black and a uh, blue. And I'm going to cast a Dinrova Horror. Yeah, uh, it's good with me, Nate. <laughs> yeah, no response. Are you exporting? I, um... Oh, why am I doing this right now? Yeah, you really want to bounce my mold if you come again? No, I really don't. Not interested at all. Um, okay. I would, would like the initiative, mainly because you're just sitting on it forever right now, and it's kind of concerning to me. But um, not the board state above you. That's not concerning. Oh no, it is. No, it, it's just it's kind of a dual thing. You know, it's like both. It's a bunch of tiny creatures. It's it's a both statement, is what it is. And yeah, it's just a bunch of tiny creatures. I'm gonna pay. Don't even do anything. More. I'm gonna pay <laughs> six for an Archaeomancer. Like, and it I ain't my fault you're twice. not playing enough creatures, Nate. Uh, I, I will... Stand. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'll lose two. I will gain one and yep. lose two. All right. It'll target, um, I guess. There's this, like, temptation to go for secrets, but, like, Thoughtcast is so cheap right now. I think it's Thoughtcast. Yeah. I think Thoughtcast is better. Yep. I'll, uh... Pay one. Uh, we're gonna filter filter these two into Urgolem's eye for um, thought cast, and we're gonna um, and we're gonna just extort it once. I think is how that's gonna work. So let's see. One. How do I want to do this? No, we'll do we'll do this right here because that's one. Oh, no, no. So we'll do this and this because I have affinity. So yeah, we'll cast this and then filter. I guess I could go just like black for that and then uh, black for that. So I'll extort it twice. Uh, that'll be one, two, three, one, two, three. And then I'll draw two. And I will target uh, you, Noyark, with the drain. The two cards drawn. Um, what are we doing? 
<sighs> you're, killing, you're killing puzzle box, that's what you're doing. Yeah, puzzle, I'm so sorry, but this is just like collateral right now. Um, yep, I'm very aware. Yeah. Uh, is that a thing that I can reach for? Uh, no, not really. Doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I think I'll just, uh, I think I'll just pass the turn. I don't think there's anything else here that I need to do. Yeah, go ahead. Excellent. Uh, so let's... Yeah, I don't think I'm doing anything. Okay, um, go to my turn. Let's do... Let's make you slap somebody. Uh, what should I go? Find my nice cool. ape familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Removes a regenerating walker. Broken. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Ryan's Kingpin. This right here? Okay. Yep. We'll Got go it. Turn, or draw for turn, I should say. <laughs> I find me combing through my graveyard. I'll pass. Boy, uh, in step, I'll crack my spell bomb to draw a card, and then I'll go to my turn. This is uh, quite the quite the board stall. Alrighty, impasse they would call it. Yeah, Mexican standoff. A Mexican standoff. Although it's funny because like it doesn't appear that anybody's really even trying to like combo hard. <laughs> it's just like it's just like extorting and like getting all this mana and drawing all these cards. Just leave me alone. That's all I care just about. Just leave me alone. Yep, exactly. And like not enough commander damage for it to even matter either. Pretty funny. This deck, people have just gone way, way over the top. Side note, life gain is fucking dumb and should be banned from CPDH. <laughs> Second game in a row. I mean, it's like just this. because people aren't playing combo. Like, <laughs> life gain doesn't matter if yeah. people have a combo. Well, we, combo. I mean, yeah. that, you're saying that, but we have four combo players at the table. We're, we have four fake combo players. I mean, uh, they're, they're... Well, no, Eric's not. But. No, I'm not either. I mean, I've got Ghostly Flicker. Is Paradigm combo Drake. your main... So do I, but is it your main game plan? I, the, when I There's built really that deck, a... like, combo is the main game plan. Yeah. It just so happens that through Extort and Quaza, you're really good at winning the game uh, in other ways. ways. Well. Yeah. It's just yep. super diverse. Yep. That deck's Qua awesome. Quaza's always been that way, where you had multiple lines. Yeah. Like, I have combo, but combo is not my main goal by any means. That is true. Like, I thought of just probably... putting Whirlpool Rider in there and flick, <laughs> like having Displace and Archaeomancer to flicker Whirlpool Rider yeah. over and over again. You, you build it as a. Just, as just like, dome somebody. Yeah, you build it as like an Esper, uh, an Esper Witherbloom deck, basically. That's uh, kind of how I had it built originally. You could do that. I'm sure. going to transmute muddle the mixture. Mm hmm. Yes. But it is like, I think it's a fascinating thing just to see how the meta kind of swirls and shifts. And I was even thinking today about, we got, uh, okay, planner excision. Planner excision. excision. Yep. Yep. I'll finish that thought here in a Two moment. draw cards. I will pay one to cast planner incision on my mole drifter. No response. Pass. No response. Alrighty, he will flicker. Christ, it's already late. We know it's close. Nate, you're traumatized Drug from your last game. I, if I have to stay up another hour and a half, I might be crabby by then. I'll cast a merchant scroll. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No response. You do whatever you want, puzzle. If you try to win the game, then I have a response. So I assume. 
I don't think I have enough mana to actually go for a win here, but I don't really have any choice but to pretend like I can anyways. Yeah. It's pretty rough. I mean, it's the part of the part of the thing about this life gain is that and it's something I've been harping on a bit like you just it's important to have it in your deck like we like the format has grown in power and 30 life points is starting to look almost a little low in a lot of ways. Um, and so, yeah, it's kind of either you need to have no, the no, tools. No. 30 being... Oh, no, it's good. It's what I want yeah. for sure. Um, that's that's great. Uh, but it's interesting for me because in my local meta, to keep the length of games down, we were reducing our life total to 25, and that made a really positive difference. But then initiative was printed, and it's not ever been the same. It was never necessary <laughs> after that. Yes. Those two. Those Targeting like these two. Yeah. Er, well, I guess I can target lands too. So I'll just hit the Mole Drifter and this uh, island. Perfect. Yeah. No, yeah. Yep. No. No response. I'm passing. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, he'll lose his counter. I'll untap this land, and I'll draw two. Man, those are not helping me. Um, I'll pay two life to cycle a street wraith. <laughs> yep. Two life. Wow. I I'm already dead on board, so <sighs> might as well see if I can find anything. Uh, the answer is no. So I will just uh, pass the turn. <laughs> Go ahead uh, and discard uh, some cards. That, that works right now. Damn. These new oh, new cell phones are fucking crazy, guys. Three. This shit's like some space age four wild i am going to go for the throat targeting mole drifter on nate's field and extort it twice <laughs> i was gonna say there's three mole drifters Which there's, mole drifters? Drifters. there's a shitload of mole drifters um yeah extort let's... It twice i will die uh, i will lose two will Respond. I, um, yep, I yeah, lost right. Already. I think it's hard to call this a combo table when we're on turn ten and no one's tried to combo. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. It's kind of. It is a bit abnormal, though, right? Fast playing. I mean, he's <laughs> considering how many cards have been drawn. I think if this deck had um, true combo decks, somebody would have went for it by now. Sure. Okay. Uh, hold on. So it's coming around to me now. Um, Mind so, your business. So you're flickering the the planner incision. Yeah, I'm just flickering the mold drifter. Um, that's probably. And also, did you guys lose too? Yep, I did. Um, I think that's probably like just fine, right? Like, I don't know that I actually care about this at all. I yeah, why you would? You, you can go go ahead and do it. All right, so it flickers. It becomes a three-three. I will gain a life, and I will draw two cards. Bing bang. Yep. Um, and then. Yeah, it is funny because look, like Lagrella, I guess, is sort of a mid-range slanted deck, um, but like my deck and Noyark's deck are definitely like, you know capable of going for a combo in first seven turns. So. They're all capable of it, but none of us are trying to actively. I just don't know that it's good to do that. Like, to be honest, like trying to go for a combo early is just like, okay. I don't know. It's just, it's it seems very suspect in this format to me. Very I'm going suspect. to go here, Make red white, use the red to make blue green, black. I am going to Echoing Truth Mole Drifters, extorting twice. 
Fantastic. Uh, that's, that's pretty funny. Um, All right. I'm passing so I'm priority gonna... on that. <laughs> Let's draw all the cards. Let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna one. Let's get some two, cards, guys. <laughs> three. I'm gonna cast Displace, targeting these two. Hmm. Targeting the uh, hunter. Yeah, and I was targeting his mole drifter for the record. <laughs> Well, it also hits yeah. my mole drifter, so... No, I mean your mole drifter is what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, fair. So that will fizzle this echoing truth. Um, if the displace uh, resolves. Um, I am not responding, but uh, you guys do have I don't two know if... life loss triggers. Do I, because do I, I do twice. Do I care? Like, I think I already do lost. Do you want your mole drifter back? I, I mean, it would be pretty spicy to... to get my mole drifter back i guess are you willing to pay a card so you net one card for five mana i don't really know that i am i don't know that that's a smart thing to do i think you can go ahead and displace your shit that's fine all right so yeah. this is gonna lose counters uh yeah the, those are all gone <laughs> i'm so sorry puzzle <laughs> they're like all right so i will brutal. gain two life i will <laughs> Venture deeper. Um, draw a card or make a four one. And did yeah. you guys lose your second version of Extort too? <laughs> yeah, I did. What do you I mean? Did. Sorry, I I'm the one who that. doesn't have to sit around for this four hour game. I'm gonna no, draw a card. Four hours. And then I will draw two from Molly D. Bing bang. Okay. This is gonna be a grind though that's for sure all right my turn yep cool um sure one floating let's go here and here with that one floating that means white i will have a red floating at the end of this uh i'm going to salvager of secrets extorted twice i can get that back it was revealed from the um throne throne yeah. which goes back on top and shuffles no, go, oh, yeah, you're right. You never selected it. it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's selected the wall. via wall. Yep. Ryan. Uh. Yeah, that's fine. Uh oh, sorry. I gained uh three. I mean six from that last export. It should have only been four. Oh, and then yeah. this is exported twice, so I gained two, and I'm at thirty now. What do you have in your graveyard? Instant and sorceries. Echoing truth. Go for the Throat, Curfew, Mental Journey, Ashnod's Intervention, Secrets of the Golden City, uh, Siphon Mind, Knight's Whisper. Wow. I have, I'm... I would like to draw cards, please. Yeah, also, I mean... I do have Gary Flicker as Go potential ahead. life gain, but that's my, uh, my only source of life gain in the list. Mm -hmm. I will gain a life off the ETB. I get a Secrets of the Golden City. Here. And then. That's fine. Um, just so it was here, here, here. Yeah. Cast Secrets of the Golden City. All right. Yeah, passing. All right, let's. I will pass. Let's try cool. to start speeding the uh, priority yeah, I'm, stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm like F6 on value stuff. You just do it. Um. No, that's bad. My life drain can never keep up with the uh, 
with the life gain, <laughs> the way that extort works. <laughs> you are always gaining more than people will lose, so. Pass the turn. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna pay one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four. Uh, and one for, let's see, so I only have one colored hip. So if I go one, okay, so I don't have a way to, oh, that's fine. Okay, I'll just cast uh, Soul Read. Sure, I'm gonna respond to that. Okay. I'm gonna go here and here. And I will cast Dramatic Reversal. Oh, wait, sorry, that's incorrect. It's, yeah, that's correct, like that. Okay. Yeah, pass. Is there any response to that? I'm passing. Untapping all your rocks? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, um, I will float, and then I'll use this to add that. No, I'll use uh, instant this to add wind? that one. Uh, that's going to be blue, blue, white, red. Cool. Um, these all on top. And I will go here and Thanks here. Probably. And I'm going to cast Displace, targeting Salvager of Secrets and Pondering Mage. Uh, I mean, Salvager of Secrets and Mnemonic Wall. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, Ryan, you don't have dick all, huh? Nope, I have no mana that is uh, not colorless. Way to go. Let's, yep, it's on see. you. Typical. One, two. I feel like that deserves a counter spell. Sure, I'm gonna go one, two, Three, and I will Dream Fracture that. Hmm. Probably just leave that out. It's not resolved yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful new art, too. Love it. It's just strictly a value play, right? Like, you can't have anything else. Uh, getting back dramatic reversal is kind of insane. Um, there is... Oh, I yeah, I guess he does, if he... Because he goes he positive on both. cards. He gets to go get the displace, or... I don't think he has ghostly flicker in the yard, but he gets displace back and, and dramatic reversal. And then he can make infinite mana with that. Yeah, instant speed infinite mana. Okay, so I guess we're losing right now, huh? Uh... I mean, I do, but I, I don't. You don't like losing. <laughs> uh, Nobody does. I'll sack this to your treasure, and then I will... Arcane Denial. Probably will... targeting the Displace. Or actually, uh, if you target the Dream Fracture, then he doesn't draw the card. But I draw a card. Oh, that's true. So maybe that's... Yeah, it depends on... Yeah, so Displace would be the target. I'll target the Displace. I, I don't think deciding he's... if I want to fight over this anymore. Um. Hmm. Trying to decide whether he wants to run into a, a foil. But Ryan, I thought you didn't like foil. Uh, I think foil is fine in certain decks. I don't know if I'd play it in Lugrella, but. Yeah, I pretty don't know. much. People play foil in some weird places where I don't understand, but it's just inconsistent at times. Kind of makes you. Um, yeah. It's like I'm basically deciding on one of two lines here, and I'm not sure which one is better. Uh, I think. I do think unexpected fangs is potential for this list though it is good it's a good card in this meta at least <laughs> mm -hmm. 
What you got? I'm trying to pick between one of two lines. This is kind of a pivotal point, so it's going to take me a second. Um, that math is fine. That path is kind of fine. Uh, uh, no, I think, yeah, that's fine. That just resolves. Sweet. All right. So. So are we? So you're countering the the displace. I'm countering the the displace, so that will resolve first, and then dream fracture will counter the counter spell. Then we will draw a card. Okay. Um, I think I'm leaving... I'm going to leave the Dream Fracture on the stack. I'm going to respond to that. So before the draw? Yeah. So I'm letting oh. the Displace get countered. The Displace gets countered and goes to the graveyard. Okay, Dream Fracture's on the stack. Gotcha. I already drew, so I'll, I'll put it Dream Fracture on. is on the stack is what is going on. Um, okay. Let's go... Here and here. Oh wait, I need there and there and there. Oh, uh, that doesn't work. That's fine. Oh, right. I have a white floating. Okay. That. This. That, this, this. Okay, yeah, so the white floating taps this. I am going to cast Supernatural Stamina, targeting my uh, Salvager of Secrets. And then I will terminate Salvager of Secrets. Nice. Okay, so this is going to uh, return the Salvager of Secrets into play, allowing you to get an ETB to get the Displace back to uh, cast the Displace. I, yeah, I don't think I'm in reversal, right but you're not winning this turn. Yeah, I don't think so. No. Okay. Cool. Yep. Uh, any more stuff, Nate? No, I no, should have just waited on that. I'm out of responses. Okay. So we got. Some stuff I'm going on. Dream fracture. Well, I guess once the other shit resolves. Yep. So and this is still on the stack. That'll too. come back. I will grab the displace. Yep. Displace comes back. Cool. Um, and it comes in tapped. Uh, yeah, that thing comes in tapped. Pretty wacky line. That shit right there, chat, is fucking spicy. And then he doesn't have enough mana to, to win right now. Then we get to draw a card, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Drawing. Okay. Cool. And I think that is going to be the so turn. With, with the end of the stack, Soul Read is going to resolve. And I'll draw two cards. And I will yeah. drain you. Uh, New York for two, I guess. I don't know. And I do gain a life from the Salvager coming back. Yeah, that's play. right. And then I will go to my turn and draw. Um, let's see. What am I doing right now? Is, is there anything to do? This is the question. I don't think that there, I don't think that there is. We're gonna play this island. Uh, you just try to extort a whole bunch of times. Um, 
could try to draw some cards. Um, I think that's where we're going to start. Pay four for the Dinrova Horror. I'm gonna tuck these chillins together here. Um, and God, what am I? What am I bouncing? I guess I could bounce the Archaeomancer, picking up Thoughtcast, or Secrets of the Golden City. I think that's what's gonna be. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, targeting Dinrova Horror, targeting Archaeomancer. No response. Okay, New York. I'll no response. Time. Okay. Um, I will put this back in my hand. Uh, I will pay one, two, three, four. four. Wait. Yeah. Wait. You discard a card first. Oh, I do have to discard a card, which will be Arcane Signet. Uh, that's a good point. Yep. Uh, didn't rove a horror here for folks. Um, and then I'm going to cast Archaeomancer. No response to the cast. No response. Okay. Um, let's see. What am I going to need to do here? Going to. I think it's going to be Thought Cast. Yeah, I'll get Thought Cast back or I'll target that. Question here, Ryan, is what are we going to do about that displaced next turn? So. Yep. I am all out of interaction, I will tell you. Got it. Cool. Um, I am going to pay two for Thought Cast. And no, I'm going to draw two. Good here. Uh, boy. It's uh, just uh, not not a whole lot to be to be doing right now. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, uh, I can go to combat and get the initiative, which allows me to nug for five. You um, are goaded with the that dude. Which guy? The kingpin. Your four pet? four. Yeah. Cool. So we'll uh, go to. See, I don't think there's any way that I could possibly drain out, right? Like it would be five. And then I would have to do like a fucking crazy number of game actions. You need your com combo to win. You this need one. to start thinking like a combo player. Well, no, I, that's but I don't have it in hand. That's why I'm asking. So um, you need to get it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't have combo in hand. Um, so I'm just trying to map that line out where where maybe I'm able to you know, do enough damage. But I don't think that world exists. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. I'll go and attack with the Kingpin's pet uh, at you, Noyark. And then um, I guess, Nate, you're about to go Throne of the Dead 3, right? So yeah, that's I guess great. that's, I don't know that I, if I went five, would life total matter at all? If you were, you're not able to do a ton of damage, right, Nate? Obviously not. I'm just. I've been holding yeah. up mana for no York okay. over there. Cool. Um, I will then uh, pass the turn. I think. Uh, did I play? I played a land. Yeah. I'll just pass the turn. Um, yep. No York took four. Oh yeah. Or oh, sorry. Yeah. So this is in combat. Swing in this at four. Yeah. Yep. You're taking four. Yeah. I'll just okay. Take cool. It. Yep. I'm gonna use the privy. I'll be right back. You guys can proceed. My turn is over. Untap. Uh, from the dead three, so one, two, three, four, five. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, I am facing the stalwart. This will. Go in and I will shuffle. Uh, I get flicker or something. Uh, I will also gain a life. Let's flicker the mold drifter. So I will draw 
two cards on two, and then I will draw four turn. And this is six, six. All right. Jesus Christ, and we all just fucking full hands. What is happening? Uh, Ryan, I got Icewind Stalwart from the Yeah, that is fine. You can do that. Well, thank you for your permission. You didn't um, need it. I didn't need it. Yeah, right. Excellent. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, Seb the Gray saying, turn nine and everyone left has more life than when they started. Jonathan saying, extort, do that. Yeah, no, no kidding, for sure. And while Nate's just taking his turn here, just want to take a moment to thank everybody who's joined us for the live stream today. If you're enjoying the content, please do take a moment and click the like button. Help support the content. And of course, hit the bell icon if you want notifications about future live videos and subscribe if you want to see more of the great content. Thanks for being here. How much mana do you have open, Ryan? I have uh, five mana. Uh, huh. I see we have interaction for New York, correct? We'll see. Excellent. Uh, okay, so let's do... Well, I should... One, two. I'm gonna cast a Suja Priest. Oh, we have any uh, re responses, New York? That's good. Yeah, pass. Okay, excellent. Then let's do. Oh, I, so I gain a life. I do believe these are the three <clears throat> combo cards. I. Yep. Don't have it, otherwise I would be playing it. I'd be windmill slamming it. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. Get this shit over with. One, four. Let's pass our Kaomancer. Is that good? Yep. I'm passing yep. where? All right, so I will grab a Hmm. Let's see. Uh, one, two. Shit, I don't know if I drew for my arcane denial, but that was a while ago. Pretty sure I didn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you arcane denial me? That sucks. I would have liked those cards. Yeah. You guys same. both forgot. It was just two mana counter spell. That seems yeah. appropriate. Yep. It's only fitting. Not that we need the cards. Uh, and then, did I gain on? I gained two life from this guy entering. I will just pass, and I have to go to discard. I will get rid of this coiling oracle. Go ahead. What did you get back from the graveyard with your RKO answer? Counterspell. Just counterspell. Yep. <clears throat> and don't bully me, otherwise I'll just throw the. I will not come. Oh, in. no, I'm not. Don't worry about it. Like, I'm. That's not at all in my mind. I was just curious to see if you'd gotten more interaction with it. <laughs> I told you I didn't have any, so I have a piece. Yeah, you have a piece. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to read the bones. And I think what's. Uh... Oh, wait. If I do it like this and this I get to extort that twice so I will so it's, uh, the Sisei's ring helps tap this mm -hmm. to get the white and yeah the red is used on read the bones and then this is extort as well okay one two one two three four mm -hmm. I will scry two uh, top top. 
That's mm. concerning. That is concerning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. I would like to untap here. Oh, wait. Let's... uh. Man, it'd be really nice if we had an Honored Arrow Lumen play right now. <sighs> I had one in hand. You did, Puzzle. You did good. <laughs> Puzzle's still watching this? What's up, Puzzle? I'm still here, yes. He's here, he's here lurking. So I'll make black red. I'll just put my hand when I died on screen. And that means this was untapped, yeah. Make black red. And yeah. then that's gonna untap here and turns or out I'll make green blue. Um yeah. and then that yeah, untap there and there. Uh cool. Green blue here and then use the green here black and I have two colorless uh, I will play an ardent elementalist oh dear <laughs> okay <laughs> What's, uh, <laughs> this place is in your graveyard, or is no? It, it's in my hand. It's in okay. hand. So this is gonna get back Dram Rev, um, but we also it gets back Counter Magic, I think, or Dram Rev. Yeah, I don't, oh, fuck. Well, Either no, or. no, because his main thing is that if he he's got three of these Archaeomancers in play now, so like. The, I don't think a third one matters, so it's either Dram well, or Counter Magic to make the, the displace go through. Yeah, yeah, so he can... It doesn't matter that he has another one so much, except that he can use the Ghostly Flicker now to pick up more Counter Magic. So he picks up more Counter Magic here, and then... I don't really know. Um, I don't think this is the spell, though. So yeah, is I'm passing. Ghostly Flicker in your yard, is that correct? No, no it just displays displays. In my hand, and Ghost Flurry Flicker has not been seen yet. I don't believe this is the time to counter. Nope. I fully agree. I'm gonna get go for the throat. Fascinating. Oh. I know what that's for. Uh, land for the turn is oh. going to be an island. Well, wait. Sutcher Priest. He's, oh, yeah. Yeah, he kills Suture and then he can combo. Oh, Sutcher Priest was such a good play last turn, I'm realizing. Yeah, for yeah. those of you that don't know, Citra Priest is a white stacks piece in CPDH because everything involves flickering or bringing a creature back into play over and over from the graveyard. This drains them, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> that was kind of like a counter spell, Nate. Uh, let's go. One, two. Yeah, just one, two. Three. Go for the throat. Four. Five. Hmm. Wanna cast Peregrine Drake? Oh my god. So we still Do you have more than one piece of interaction? Ryan? I have... This is This it's... is something we counter, and then we also counter the displays. Yeah, so counter this. Um, counter this. He, yeah, this needs to be countered. Um, and I do have counter magic. Um, this is not the one I want to use though right now, and you'll understand why. But I'm going to pass priority. Jesus Christ, Ryan. Or actually, is it? Oh. Wait, no, hold on, hold on. Wait, is this actually incorrect? No, mine is the one that I should cast first, right? Uh, there, there is a reason for this. I'm, I'm not just like maliciously making you use this. Um, 
Yeah, pass. Oh, wait, hold on. I had a blue and pool. Does that change anything? I had a blue and pool that I could use. No. I mean, we, we have to interact with this, so. Okay. Yep. It just means that I get dick because now it's not going to displace. Okay. Counter it, not cry about it. I'll attempt to counter it. Yep. Now he holds up mana. And Ryan That's has great. his interaction still. Yep. Good, great, grand. Definitely not salty. Anything? Yep. You're up, Ryan. Oh, is it my turn? Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. Um, okay. I will uh, go to my turn. Man. There's just like no, no help coming here. I'm gonna cast Mana Geode. That was my, um, hold on here. Uh, boop, like that. That's uh, not, not capturing. Let's see, go here, and we'll go here. Okay, there we go, good, we reset it. Okay, so casting Mana Geode. Um, I will scry one. That is not useful. Um, uh, well, I guess I needed to, well, I should have extorted, but I didn't. Uh, the drain trigger will go at you, Noyark, for the draw at the beginning of the turn. Um, boy, yeah. I wish there was Speaking just like more. Speaking of wishing for honored heirloom, you should check out Gator Bait's newest YouTube video talking about mana rocks. Insert plug. Yeah, would you send me the link to that and I'll drop the link in chat? <laughs> um, sure. I don't have, well, okay, so I'll just, maybe I just need the alpha strike and then like try to drain a whole bunch. Yeah. All right. Um, I will go to combat and swing with the team. At me? Yeah, you know Eric. Um, oh, I should actually, here, um, we're going to collaborate on something, Nate, okay? I'm going to swing perfect. the 2-2 two -two Moldrifter at you. I'm going to block it. No, don't. I'm going to trap him. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, two at you, the rest yeah. at you, Noyark. Uh, block the 4-4 four, four with a 3-7 mnemonic wall. This 4-4, um, okay. Yeah, the Denroba will block Archaeomancer with Salvager of Secrets. I'm going to block Quaza with Avenging Hunter. And what else is there coming at me? Oh, you got Just a 4-4 four, 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 flyer. flyer. Yep. I'm going to block that one off of Basilica Screecher. Okay. Uh, go to damage. Cool. I will enter the uh, the trap in the Undercity, and I will trap you, Noyark. And then we'll go to damage. Um, so the Archaeomancer dies. And your Avenging Hunter dies. The... 4-4 four is blocked. The 4-4 four four was on the Mnemonic Wall. Moldrifter was not blocked. Okay, cool. So yeah, just 4 to you, Noriark, and 2 to you, Nate. And Nate's already got it. Um, okay. Uh, I will then uh, pay 1, uh, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 for Cadaver Imp. No response. Sure. Okay, Cadaver Imp will return a creature card from my graveyard. I'm going to target Archaeomancer. I'm going to gain two life. You're going to lose a life. Yep. Okay. Um, Archaeomancer, co cool. Yep. Okay, get that back. Um, I am going to play a land for turn. And then I'm going to pay one, two, three, four for Archaeomancer. Sure. I will target uh, Secrets of the Golden City. Yep. 
I will uh, pay one. Let's see. I'm going to. OK, I need my mana counter right now. Let's see. Where is that another player? Mana tracker. There Just we go. hit M. OK, cool. M is the hotkey, I think. Yep. Um, I'm going to float uh, blue, blue, blue. And then I'm going to cast, uh, let's see. Yep. I'm going to cast uh, a dramatic reversal. I've got a response. Model the next tree. I will pay a blue. Oops. Uh, how do you go down on the mana or oh, remove? Huh, weird. Shift click. Oh, shift click. OK, cool. Shift click. Uh, Same with counters and everything. And this Crystal Grotto for um, Arcane Denial on the Muddle the Mixture. Um, yeah, I, don't, I don't have any interaction to stop the stacks here. Uh, no, York, what's the combo with Dram Rev? Oh, I don't think Ryan's going off here. I just don't want him to do the to have any more stuff. So I am going to Arcane Denial the Dramatic Reversal. Um, uh, can I do anything? Um, nope, I cannot. Um, so yeah, that all gets countered. And uh, then I have three mana. I guess I could have done that differently. I don't know if it would have helped, but we're going to pay three using the mana remaining to me to cast Secrets of the Golden City. And I will draw three. And if Nate untaps One, and wins two, here, three. well, oh well. Yep. Oh well. Um, and then I will uh, pass the turn. Draw three. Yep. Uh, so, oh, I actually drew three, so I'm going to drain you, Noyark, for three. Uh, off of the Secrets of the Golden City, and then I'm going to draw another one, three. two. You both draw three. One for your own and two for the others, oh. and both of your Arcane That's Denials right. yeah. resolved. Okay, so yeah, another three at you, Nate, or Noyark. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think this might be GG though, right? Seven. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna cast Lagrella. And I will cast Lagrella targeting the Icewind Stalwart and I will hit uh So yeah, exiling all Icewind Stalwart under Lagrella, use any flicker spell. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah. that's because you have the payoff, right? I, yeah, I mean, I, mm -hmm. I'm going to be. I have this, so we can just. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll, All right, are we? We will check it here unless someone has. Oh, um, interaction. Yeah, the thing is, is that um, this is a king making situation uh, because I think that uh, Noyark, you have your flicker in hand, correct? Correct. Yeah, so I have to let this happen because I'm. I stop you, Nate, then Noyark wins. Question, how do you make mana to cast your ghostly flicker repeatedly? I don't. Uh, these, you just, just need uh, to do it I once. I just need to flicker it once, and then they trade their triggers. Yep. Um, so, so you they get go... infinite life? And eat infinite ETBs of your opponent's stuff, which drains them out. So I mean, Ryan, you oh, do oh, have right. the fact that, like, ETVs. Nate that? is holding up interaction as well, and if you do try and stop this, and then he tries and stops me, there's a chance that you don't lose. So I have to interact with... I guess I'm dying, right? So I need to do something about it? Yeah. So um, so this is with the Lagrella trigger on the stack? I, I mean, this I, I don't have interaction, ETVs, so when Noyark goes to his turn, he wins. So you are doing what you said you were. Yeah. 
I feel like I'm not supposed to cast anything. That's just feels like, I mean, we know what you have in hand, Noyark, and Nate doesn't have, <sighs> yeah, I'm, I, I think that this is, I think that's what feels right in my gut is that I'm not supposed to do anything about this, right? I mean, is I don't think so, but whatever. Uh, so, okay, but here's what's actually supposed to happen. You're supposed to pass priority first, Noyark. Are you, because then if you pass... I, I do pass priority. I was Just... drawing for snuff out as well. So, okay, so here's here's the way this works. If I use my... Uh, so if there's a combo happening, I have to do something, right? But, like, then we know what happens right after that. Noyark, you have five cards in hand. You have Ghostly Flicker. What are the other ones? If... I have Displace and Go for the Throat that you know about. So Displace, Targeting, uh, and there's no Fairy Macabre in Nate's deck, which would be one answer to it. Ghostly Flicker or Displace, getting back, Dram Rev and Displace, casting Dram Rev, making infinite mana, because uh, you get it back over and over again, make infinite. And then with infinite mana, uh, what's the payoff? Um, Oh, Ghostly you can draw Flicker targeting cards. two of his Archaeomancers. And then draw well, you infinite draw cards. It's, it's not necessarily the greatest thing in the world, but no, I can you, also you, offer... You, you, okay, I will so... give you a turn to untap if you stop this combo. He has infinite extort. Yeah, infinite. I mean, I, I'm, I'm dead either way. I'm passing priority. I think I'm very confident in the fact that I am not winning this game and I'm not going to interact with something that does not change the outcome of the game in my favor. So... Yeah, I uh, pass priority. Okay, well, then we're just gonna do the loop and then I'll flicker each of your kingpins and then that machine guns you down with Siege Priest. Yep, so we're all dead. Yep, I mean, I don't know. That's a bit of a tough one. You get into situations like this in multiplayer magic where it's like, Especially because, so if, if I didn't know what was in your hand, Noyark, if we hadn't seen you go for the combo, this would be completely different. But we just like actively know what combo pieces you have in hand. And we also know that Nate doesn't actually have. I I did misplay. Like bef the turn before I went for the combo, I should have played uh, or taken a turn off. I should have played Composite Golem. Mm, yeah just to stockpile a my, little bit more mana. My thing that I did on my turn that would not have changed the outcome of the game, but that I should have done as well, was I should have um, drawn my cards first with the secrets and then dramatic reversal because I could have drawn into like a, another counter spell, but uh, that is GG. Well played, Nate, good job. You navigated that well. That was, uh, that was a challenging game for sure. Um, and it's funny yeah. because even though the life, the, the life gain didn't actually ultimately it, well, it's funny. What it meant was that any of pressure we were applying on the ground was essentially moot. There was no use. It, it cut off any non-combo way of winning is what the life gain did. So it's not that it was useless. That's not necessarily true. Nate's been at 38 life for multiple turn cycles, and all of the Quasar damage you pointed at me, I undid because I had Extort, and Nate did not have Extort, so the life gain versus life loss, had you pointed it at Nate, Nate sure. can't gain life at the same rate that I can with two extort creatures. And yet at the same time, uh, pointing it at Nate would have put me in a situation where I didn't have anything to stop you, right? The, oh, no, like, oh, you're talking about yeah, like, I, of like I have so few interaction, pieces of interaction in this deck that it just, it was, uh, it was a position where you know, draining him out of the game. It just felt like it was like kind of pointless to go any one direction and you were the one that was the most threatening to me. Um, well, so like that being said, with limited amounts of interaction, then it's definitely incorrect to try and counter the counter spell that counters your Dram Rev, uh, especially if you're not going for the combo. Like, and at that point, the Archaeomancer and the Dram Rev, you were trying to generate value off of it and going for a win when you are a combo deck and that is a combo piece and you shouldn't oh, be wasting it. No, 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 you don't understand. I, I've got, like, I've got a thing that I can do. I had a chance to go off, right? So what I needed this to do here, so the only way that worked was that I attack with Archaeomancer, you block it, and I get lucky, and you did, because this is the card that I had in hand, and that was the only way to draw cards, because this is my hand right now. I'll show you guys. Uh, I had uh, Peregrine Drake, Snuff Out, Swamp, 
uh, Dark Steel Citadel, and a lot of the stuff I drew. So like these three, I drew, um, I drew this as well. I drew this. Uh, then I had, you know, like my hand was like non-combo stuff and no way to dig. So my only way to dig was to swing in with the Archaeomancer. You take the the cheap shot to to like kill this, which is correct. And then I play Cadaver Imp, get this back, get the the uh, secrets, cast the secrets, find a flicker spell of some sort, and then use that with um, Peregrine Drake and try to piece together a win. That was like my only thing to do, um, unfortunately. So um, yeah, no, it's fine though. That was, that was a really epic game, super, uh, super interactive, really interesting to see like some very different decks. Like for one thing, Quaza doesn't get a lot of attention, but I think one of the things I really liked about that game was that Quaza was allowing me to apply pressure without even entering combat. And that felt good. Um, the plentiful mana I had was awesome. Um, that felt great. I also noticed that I didn't hit land drops and that felt kind of bad. Like I can use all that mana. This deck was so fucking mana hungry. It was crazy. Um, it's just, you know, chaining so many different spells together. The extort felt insane. Like if this had been a table where where like you didn't have extort Noyark, I would have killed everybody. Like so, oh, yeah. so fucking hard. Like um, I know it's really like, that's why I was telling you, you don't want to cut lands, even though you're only at 33. Well, I didn't like, cut any lands. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah. So like, it's still rough, but the main thing is uh, you trade off your explosive early game with a bunch of mana for your late game mana production is you just cast your rocks. Which is why the extort is so good. Like it is having extort on the rocks when you cast them is really nice tech that I hadn't added into any of these like really big mana flicker combo decks that I've built yet. Yeah, and that is huge game because it turns these these spells that you normally don't want to cast into game three life, which is yeah. really really impactful. It is. It's really big, and it's basically similar to Zada actually in a way because Zada um, reduces or even like Illuminator Virtuoso decks that actually don't want to have a lot of lands in them and uh, that's because you want to utilize spells later on or you want to connive them or you want to have instead of lands you want to have creatures that are going to draw cards off Zada in this deck it's like I want to draw mana rocks later on not lands because I can extort off of them and that can win me the game so um, that's definitely powerful and I this, this build is something that um, uh, Noyark, you have been sort of um, have been have been working on, and it started with Aethersworn Sphinx. And the idea is that you are playing less lands, uh, which is heretical. Uh, you are playing lots of mana rocks. Like, look at this chat. You have twenty ramp spells in this deck, um, and we're playing. And, and the other facet of it, it feels like the two things are big mana and big draw. So what you're gonna see here is there's a distinct lack of ponder, preordain, brainstorm, consider, opt, that type of stuff. We have thought cast, we have treasure cruise, we have secrets of the golden city, deep analysis, reign of Re revelation, a soul read, siphon mine, mole drifter, rush of knowledge. And then you get into some of this crazy big stuff like unexplained visions, draw scry three, draw three, and draw three. And these might seem crazy, but like, look at that end state. You know, we had so many cards in hand, so many ways to refill. And then we've got the tidy little uh, ghostly flicker and dram rev combo type stuff. We have a very small uh, counter spell package, which I don't like. I wish this were bigger, but um, yeah. And then just some, this is also kind of a draw spell, this uh, uh, reaping the graves here to get our creatures back. Although that game, nothing died. Like. You know, one creature of mine died basically like the whole game. The rest of it was just bounced. We have cranial plating. This is another thing too, is that when you do go deep into the artifacts like this, then you can start playing cranial plating as like a backup win con. And um, and I, I really quite like that. Um, so lots of different angles in the deck, two different combos, uh, cranial plating uh, paired with the mana rocks and the lands and the mana base here. Also doing some some nice work to create a win condition there. So yeah, definitely an interesting concept and I actually quite like the deck, felt very good. Um, having that amount of mana just feels unreal. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna wrap this up and uh, yeah, we're gonna conclude the stream for tonight and just wanna take a moment to thank Every each and one of you that came to join us for this stream this evening. 
Thank you for coming and chatting and for leaving some support in the channel through the likes and subscribes. And of course, if you wanna see more content, make sure to hit the bell icon and subscribe to see when we go live. Most of the content these days is live. So make sure to do that. Um, I think tomorrow, is it tomorrow? Possible tomorrow. I may go live tomorrow as well. Um, we've got some exciting stuff coming up. I'm gonna be setting some really ambitious goals for the channel. Uh, it's gonna be uh, some, some, some pushes here for the next month. And so, yeah, um, excited to share that with you all. That'll be potentially tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go work out with a buddy in the evening, but maybe I'll get on and do a live stream. Uh, but yeah, we've got some goals to share here soon, some stretch goals, some uh, new releases on some ideas that we've got about content in the future. And it'll be onward, ever, ever onward and upward. So Connoisseurs of Fine Common Cardboard, thank you so much. Thanks for sticking around. Have a great evening. Good night. Who wants to play another game? Oh, Jonathan, you're...